Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Pink Property Podcast. I'm Lee O'Brien from David Lee, here with my colleague and business partner, David Kirby. Um, And this week we wanted to run through a bit of a general overview on the market and market conditions uh, as to where we are now. Coming to the middle of month six in 2021, so we're approaching the the halfway point and and some crucial things are happening this Mm. month. So a couple of bits that we wanted to talk to you about. Wanted to start with lettings, David. Yeah, so update from the world of lettings at David Lee here. Um, Much busier. Uh, Finally, I think, yeah, the ability to move people feeling a bit more comfortable about moving around um, a moving house means that a lot more tenants now are giving notice um, so that they can move to somewhere else, somewhere new, whether it be in the area, out the area, new job moves, lots going on, mm. uh, which is really exciting. So finally, we've got some available letting properties, which has been yeah really tough over the last year uh, where people haven't been moving in between properties. So. And do you think that boils back to the eviction process restarting again? There will be a bit of the eviction process. Um, I'm hoping it's not just down to eviction sure. and bad news. Um, I think a lot of positive from yeah people being able to move, feeling mm. a bit more comfortable about that um, job security, a bit more people knowing where they're going and where their job's moving to. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, much better. James and Charlie incredibly busy at the moment. Mm. So mm. yeah, it's been a long period of uncertainty, hasn't it? And I suppose is that the kind of solidifies a bit and yeah. businesses are operating under sort of new 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 sort of I don't know um, new working patterns yeah, yeah, and, and, and consider, uh, continuing yeah. to move forward yeah. a bit more yeah. maybe job security I suppose what job I'm getting security. at yeah, people yeah. have got the confidence um, to make that move and, and the ability to have a move yeah. so we've got these people now that just fancy a change mm. and, and fancy moving somewhere new yeah, they're feeling a bit more confident in doing that at the moment That's so good. yeah loads of new stock prices are up at the moment so if you're a landlord Good mm. news. Um, yeah, we've been getting some yeah really good uh, rental prices for for landlords at the moment. Um, but still, I think uh, value for money for tenants. I think our prices were a little bit low for a while. So yeah, they've they've caught up with the market. Um, so yeah, brilliant. Good all round. Um, and sales. So just wanted to run over some average house price movement for you um, in the in the main areas that we cover. Um, so all of the data comes from the Zoopla website, runs on house price data. So um, Essex has increased uh, just under 10%, 9.97% over the past year. Hertfordshire, 11.53. Cambridgeshire, 11.38. Suffolk, 12.77 and round in West London, 14.89% growth. Um, probably the greener and leafier parts of, of London there, um, seeing some real uplift. Averaging out at probably just over 10%, 10.5% yep. yep. if you look at all of our areas that we're working in at the moment. But what a fantastic year for house price yeah, growth. Yeah, um, yeah. It, yeah the, the, the numbers are there now, the sold price data is appearing on land registry and that, that market movement is undeniable. There has been probably 10% or more in pretty much all of the areas that we operate. So um, really nice movement in house prices. Um, Some popular trends that we're still seeing in the market, um, there's still exceptional interest in great quality properties that are presented really well. So um, we've done it in previous podcasts and talked to you about presentation and how that makes a massive impact in achieving a good price. But people are still super hungry for great quality properties. Um, and I was thinking about it. I think one of the things that, that is a big problem at the moment is is actually getting builders to do yeah. the work yeah. because they're very busy, which is, is pushing their prices up. Um, the supply chains from yeah. whether that be COVID related or Brexit related, delivery on, on stuff and items yeah, and yeah, there's yeah. been plaster shortages more than mm. once and and, and and numerous things have been delayed through the supply chain process which again is just it's just putting pressure on supply and demand around builders tradesmen and supplies so I think buyers mm. are actually thinking do we really want to go through that process yeah, yeah, ourselves yeah. and do all the work and actually when I can buy something that's ready to go yeah, and, yeah. And, and we can move in a bit of painting ourselves and, and, and we're up and away. So yeah. I think that maybe that's kind of filtered into the market a little bit more now with buyers and, yeah, and they want that right. ease of, look, I just want to be in the place um, and I want to get going and, and yeah. coupling that with, you might be spending a lot more time in your home at the moment mm-hmm. rather than going out to work every day, working from home, you yeah. kind of want that nice place to, to, to be able to work and, and 
and, and living. So a um, couple of trends that we're just seeing in the market um, and just just putting stress really on that. Yeah. yeah, that better quality property is really oh, worth doing. That extra okay. bit of work is really worth doing at the moment before bringing a property to market because it will enable you to get a much better yep. price. Um, so yeah, that's the sales update. Little lettings update for you. That's all that we've got for you this week. Um, if you'd like us to discuss anything more in upcoming episodes, please shoot us a message and subscribe to the channel to get everything that we're putting up over the coming uh, weeks and months, whether that be new properties, hints and tips, tours around the offices, and obviously the weekly podcast. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great weekend.